We have already talked about the corporate level strategies and what types of decisions the corporate level managers can take. So now it is time for business level strategies. We already know that the decisions the business level managers are going to take is going to follow the overall decision of the corporate level managers. The business level managers are going to be in charge of the business line or the product line. The main goal of the business level managers are to deliver superior value to the customers as well as creating competitive advantage. The business level strategies are much more easier to understand than corporate level strategies because the corporate level strategies has a broad implication all over the organization but there are only a few business level strategies that the business level managers need to understand. In this video I am going to be talking about 5 different business level strategies. They are cost leadership, differentiation, focused low cost, focused differentiation and integrated low cost differentiation. Let's start with cost leadership. It is sometimes also called as broad low cost strategy. Cost leadership means that the company is going to provide the best price to the customer. Best price meaning the companies will provide the lowest possible price to the customers. There are companies that are fighting to give the customers the lowest possible bargain price at almost everything. And if you want an example, you do not need to look further than Walmart. They have such a high demand and everybody knows them to be the cost leaders of the market. They are so demanding that companies make different batch of products for Walmart themselves so that they can keep the company satisfied with a lower cost. And by lowering the cost of the products and services, the companies can gain a significant competitive advantage in the market. That is because no matter how premium products are, there will always be a demand for low cost products. That is how these companies can gain on market share and increase profitability by selling a large number of products. The next strategy is differentiation, sometimes also known as broad differentiation strategy. These companies are going to provide something different to the customers that none of their competitors are going to be able to do. And with that they are going to be able to charge a much higher cost than the competitors. Product differentiation has to be achieved through superior functions and features of the products. Companies can also charge a high price for better design, branding and customer service. And if you want to look for examples, you already have iPhone. They have the iOS that is unique to them and their phones are just a little bit costlier than the competitors. And of course, the companies that provide the differentiated products or services can definitely charge a premium price. Then you have the focused low cost strategy. Here you are going to charge a lower price but you are not appealing to everyone in the market. You are focusing to a small segment. Maybe your product is targeted to only blind left handed people and you are providing them the best price for their chairs. Yes that is the creativity of yours only. For focused low cost strategy you get chairs for left handed blind people. After that you have focused differentiation. You are going to be different than the customers and no one else can copy you. And you are also going to be charging a high price. But you will be doing that for a really small niche. The example in this case would be Rolls Royce. I feel like I don't even need to elaborate on that. They charge really high price and they cater to a really small niche of people. That is exactly why Rolls Royce advertisements are not on the TV. Their marketing efforts are targeted towards the specific people that can afford the Rolls Royce. And the last one would be integrated low cost differentiation strategy. It is the best of both worlds. You are providing the best price with added value. But if you think about it, it is best of both worlds for the customers, not for the manufacturers. The manufacturers are adding value through differentiation and also charging a low price. How can it be profitable for manufacturers? It does sound really hard to do for the companies and it actually is hard. But nowadays the companies are able to do that with the use of new technological advancements. Now those were the generic 5 business level strategies. Right now I am going to be talking about the efficiency frontier on business level strategies. In the efficiency frontier let's put value from differentiation and low cost in two axes. This is what the efficiency frontier is going to look like. The reason it has a convex shape is because of the diminishing returns. If you want to know more about the law of diminishing returns, you can check out my previous video about the law of diminishing returns. As a company, you have to aim for this purple line over here. This is going to be the efficiency frontier. 
You can be anywhere on the line, but you have to be on the line to be fully efficient. You can be positioned low or high, that does not matter. The customers are going to forget about added value if the price is really low. And the customers are going to be willing to pay premium price if you add a lot of value from differentiation. And that would be the end of discussion for business level strategies for today. If you have any questions, you can ask below. And I would also like to remind you that I take requests. If you request, I will make a video on it. It might take three days if I am already familiar with the topic. It might take seven or ten days if I don't know that much about the topic. But I will make it. But obviously this is not the end of the video. My regular viewers would know that, that bonus content is still coming. And for bonus, I have started a new series called Counting to 20. And it has turned out to be more challenging than I thought. Spanish was easy because I already know a little bit of Spanish. My challenge was to learn to count to 20 in as many languages as possible. And this is the second part. Counting to 20 in French. Let's go for it. 1 is un. 2 is do. Do. 3 is trois. Trois. 4 is quatre. Quatre. 5 is cinq. Cinq. 6 is seize, seize, 7 is sept, sept, 8 is wheat, wheat, 9 is nerf, nerf, 10 is these, these, 11 is once, once, 12 is doze, doze, 13 is treze, treze, 14 is catorze, catorze, 15 is quinze, 15. 16 is 16. 16. 17 is 17. 17. 18 is 18. 18. 19 is 19. 19. 20 is vim. Vim. I found the pronunciation of 20 to be the most interesting one. But let's go through them again. On. Do. Tra. Cut. Sunk. Seize. Sept. Wheat. Nerve. These. Onze. Doze, treze, catorze, quinze, seize, dissept, dissuit, dissnuff, verm. And we are done for today. Thank you all for watching. If you have stuck around till this point, don't forget to like this video. And please subscribe to this channel if you want me to keep continuing to make these kind of videos. And lastly, as always, I hope you learned something new today.